Okay. So um, we have been working with uh, resumes, cover letters, and things like that, but I also want to at least spend a day or two talking about college. Um, I realize that some of you guys are not planning on going to college, and I get that. Um, you don't have to there's no reason that you have to do it if you already have a plan maybe you're going into the military or whatever then that's great you're already ready to go um, but I do want you to do this um, for the simple fact that you may in a year or two decide that you do want to go back to college uh, that you do want to go back and get um, you know some sort of extra certification maybe that you need for your job and hopefully you can sort of remember some of these basic things that I'm going to talk to you about today um, and get yourself applied um, into some of these colleges. Okay. So um, I know from personal experience that applying to college and going through the process is very frustrating. Um, it's very complicated sometimes, or it feels complicated. It's not, but it feels complicated because it's like, here you are, you're 17, 18 years old, and you're getting ready to graduate from K through 12 school, which you've been doing for the past 13 years of your life. And you're going to go out and you have to figure out how to do all this stuff. And um, it is certainly scary. And I get that. And so part of what my job is, is to help you to be productive members of society. Uh, and so if I can teach you guys how to do some of this stuff, I'm definitely going to do that. Um, so let's start uh, with just some basic things that I think um, probably you know how to do, but you also kind of don't know how to do. Um, and then we'll go from there. So a couple things. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to walk you through the process of applying uh, to go to ACTC. Now, do you have to go to ACTC? No. Are all of you going to go to ACTC? No. But um, I want you all to at least look into their options and see what they have because I think that's really important for you to see that there are some things you could do where you may be able to work a job right now, like getting out of, of high school, work a job right now, go get, you know, a six month or one year certification and walk out making way more money than what you were whenever you first started. Um, there are some positions that you guys are going to walk into after a six month certification, making far more money than I do with three college degrees. OK, so if there is an opportunity for you to go and get a one year certification at ACTC and double your salary, it seems like a no brainer to me. OK, and ACTC has options for financial aid and things like that. So I see no reason why um, you shouldn't do that. OK, so let me show you how to apply and how to go through that process. And then hopefully um, we can look at maybe a couple other colleges just so you can sort of see what you think or what your plan is um, and how to just navigate a college website because sometimes they're a little bit iffy. OK, so. The easiest thing to do um, is to start at Google. OK, uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with Google. All right. So let me get here. So Google. You all know how to get there. All right. Now, if I know I'm applying to ACTC, well, I don't know what that stands for. So I'm going to type in ACTC. And the fun part about that is that the first thing that pops up because of your location is Ashland Community and Technical College, which is where you want to apply to. OK, so I'm going to go to their website. All right. And the good thing about ACTC is that they do not have a fee to apply. Now, some colleges will ca charge you a fee to apply uh, because they don't want people to just apply all willy nilly. They want people who are really serious about applying to do that. But all of the community colleges um, in the state don't require you to pay an application fee because they want to encourage you to at least check out what they have. OK, so I'm going to uh, this is their this is their front of their Web page. And you can see that they've made it, you know, very um, it's you know, here's what we're doing uh, at ACTC. And remember that colleges are a business. So always keep that in mind that they are. But many of them will do everything they can to make sure that you have all the opportunities you need. OK, so I'm going to be applying. So I'm going to go to admissions. OK. Now, if you're not sure what program you're interested in, usually the admissions page will show you what programs that ACTC or any other college offer. A good thing about ACTC and the other schools that are in the community college um, 
group is that um, you may be able to take an online class from somewhere in Western Kentucky through KCTCS, um, but still be at ACTC. Uh, and that's kind of the beauty of the community college kind of setup is that they have a huge um, like pool essentially to get classes from. Okay, so let's go. Um, so a couple of things. First off, you can always request information from any college. They will be happy to send you information. However, I do not recommend doing this for a bunch of colleges unless you're actually interested because they will send you a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. Okay, you can schedule a campus visit, but I don't know what that would look like right now because of COVID. Um, I'm not even certain that they have many students that are actually physically on campus right now. Um, but I would say once things start to calm down, hopefully in the next month or two, um, they would be able to open that back up again and you'd be able to go and tour um, the campus a little bit more. And so that's something that you definitely want to look into. But any campus that you're interested in, whether it's Marshall, Moorhead, EKU, um, if you are physically able to go toward that campus, I highly suggest you do that just because it makes things um, more real for you. OK, but I am going to go. Um, to admissions information first. And this should be, if it's what I think it is, it should be where it tells you all of the different courses um, or types of courses that you can take. Okay, so when I get on here, I'm going to pretend like I'm you. All right, so you have um, the, so you're not going to be high school dual credit right now because we're going to pretend like we're looking for next year. Okay, so you've never been in college before. You're going in as a first time freshman. All right, so let's click on here and see where it takes us. Okay, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a ton of information, all right? So it's telling you what you need to do, okay? Um, how, who you need to contact, all right? But see, it's gonna tell you um, that you need, this is where you need to apply, okay? Um, let me see if I can show you the actual list of information here, hang on just a second. I think, well, let's stick with this first and then we can go and look at different programs. So how to apply. So if you've noticed across the bottom here, there has been a start your application button the entire time. So I'm going to just click on that. OK, I'm not going to go through the whole process of applying to this because I actually don't want to apply to ACTC. Um, I don't need another college degree. Uh, but I'm going to sort of walk you through this at the very beginning part. So before you get started, you want to make sure you have an email that you are familiar with, you need to get your social security number. Okay, if you don't have that, you need to get that. All right, and if you don't know it, now it's time to start memorizing it. You have to have it anytime you apply for a job, um, anytime you apply for college, um, you need to make sure that you know that social security number because that is how you make sure you get paid. Okay, um, obviously you should know the name and the address of the school, but if you don't, just have that handy. You can always Google it. Okay, so I'm gonna click, I'm not a robot, because I'm not. Last time I checked. And once it authenticates, this is just a way for it to make sure that, you know, we don't do things we're not supposed to. Um, so I'm going to put my email address in here and I'll just get you to this main part. So I'm going to put my email address in. And I'll click send verification code and they send it relatively quickly. So it'll tell me that it's been sent to that and um, it's, it looks like I've already gotten the email. So I'm going to click OK, go to my email. Yep, there it is. So it's it pops right up in my focused email as well. So that's good. Um, you may want to make sure you check your spam email and things like that in case um, it doesn't uh, immediately pop up. So I'm going to just copy and paste that, that uh, code, put it in here, and then I'm going to hit confirm. And then it takes me to um, the application. Um, there's no essay, which is nice. Um, I had to do a lot of essays to get into college and that was not fun. So this first page is essentially just gonna gather some basic information about you. Um, and it is also going to um, help you set up an account. Please do not create this account and then forget what you put as your account. So make sure you know the email address you used and the password that you used. Um, if you're planning on going to ACTC, you're gonna have to be able to access this, okay? So this is the starting point of this. Um, when you go here, it's going to ask you which college you want to attend. Okay, so you're going to click on that. And then it's going to ask you which campus. Ashton only has the one campus. Okay, now maybe you're planning on moving to Lexington. Um, if that's the case, then you're going to go to Bluegrass Community and Technical. And then it'll also ask you, but Bluegrass also only has the one 
um, set up. If you're planning on going to Bluegrass, that's great um, because they have a program where you can transfer directly into UK without having to pay an admissions fee and without having to go through the admissions process. Um, and so if you know that Lexington is someplace that you're planning on moving in the future and, um, you know, maybe you and some friends are going to go down there and get an apartment and have a job lined up and you're going to um, do your first two years at Bluegrass, which is a great idea, uh, then you can do that and then you transfer directly into UK to get your four year degree from UK, but you've gotten your first two years uh, and all your basics knocked out for way cheaper um, than you would if you went to UK all four years, which if you go to UK all four years, fantastic. Um, but if you're wanting to save a little bit of money, this is the way to do it. OK, so you're going to go through this whole process. All right. I am not going to go through this whole process, but I am going to take myself back. So let's see if it'll let me do this. Might have to just hit back a couple times. Okay, so when I hit back, it does take me back to this page right here. And let me see. Um, let's go up here to education. And, okay, some schools will put it in as like programs, and we'll look at maybe EKU's website so you can sort of see what that looks like. Um, but this should give us a list. Yeah, find your program. Okay, now. You may know exactly what you want to go into. You may have already done research on this. You may already know um, your plan. If you have and you know what you're doing and where you're going, perfect. OK, um, so I'm going to scroll down here and it says program finder. So you can look for different things. But if you're not really sure, um, notice that there's a ton of things. You can get an air conditioning technology degree, Appalachian studies, automotive technology, um, computer and information technology. I know a lot of you guys are interested in um, coding and things like that. And so they have different things that you can do um, with, with coding and things like that. There's culinary arts, there's cosmetology, um, fire and rescue, electrical technology. You could be an electrician, okay? Um, health science, that's your different jobs in, um, you know, medic medical field, things like that. But they have nursing. Um, they have different levels of nursing, medical information technology. Um, if you're planning on going into anything with, um, the medical field, ACTC is a great place to start, especially if you're not sure what part of the field you want to go into. OK, um, you could do pre-engineering. A lot of schools, if you're going to go into an engineering program, a lot of schools have something called a um, three and two program, which means that you end up going to that four year university for five years. And so maybe you could do a pre-engineering program for two years at ACTC and maybe only have to go to a four year university for two years. It just depends. Um, and then it has welding as well. So if you're thinking about going to Kentucky Welding Institute, um, this may be also an option for you if financing would be difficult. Um, the Kentucky Welding Institute cannot accept financial aid um, and FAFSA and things like that uh, yet. And so um, if you're planning on going to that, but it uh, you can't afford to do that just yet, then you may consider ATTC because they can accept um, that financial aid. And so you may not have to pay anything out of pocket. Now, if you're planning on going to the Kentucky Welding Institute, more power to you. Um, and if you think that you can afford that initially um, and you can do things with that, then I say go for it. Um, because when, as soon as you get out, you're going to have a job that's going to be able to pay off your tuition. Um, but if that doesn't feel like, feel like it's an option for you right now, you can always look at ACTC. Um, and there's plenty of other schools throughout the state of Kentucky that are in this same system that are through ACTC and other schools like that, that they have those really developed programs with that. Um, I think there's even one where you can do, um, like you can learn how to work on jet engines. Um, so you could go and work um, for an airline and make a lot of money, okay? So um, if you are planning on applying to ACTC, you can stop here and go apply to ACTC and you're just gonna tell me in the Google form that I'm gonna post for you, what your plan is. I'm going to ACTC and I'm going to um, go into blank program. OK, so tell me what you're doing, what program you're going to go into. Now, if you're going into the military, tell me you're going into the military and what part of the military. Um, so like I'm going to go into um, the army and I'm going to attempt to um, get into um, a higher rank example what rank do you want um i have a cousin who is in the air force he's been well actually he just retired from the air force uh two years ago and he has worked um 
with testing soil samples. And he's gotten to travel all over the world. Um, and so tell me things that you are interested in learning about from the military, because you want to make sure when you're in the military, you are getting job training because they will provide that for you. Um, you get things paid for, you get colleges, you get college assistance and things like that. So if you are going into the military, tell me that. Okay. Now, if you are planning on going to another college, stick around. All right. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. So if you are planning, let's say, for example, you're going to Moorhead. Okay. Because I think Moorhead is something that a lot of people go to. So I'm going back to Google. Right. So first thing I pop in here, Moorhead State University. I'm going to go to the first thing that pops up, which is their website. And you'll find that once you navigate one or two of these websites, they're all going to be very similar. They're all going to be the same as far as setup. It's just you have to sort of figure out what to do and where to do it. Okay. So maybe this will pop up eventually. So this is important down here. Um, it gave me some information. It says $13,000 a year to go to Moorhead. Seems like a lot of money, but that's actually relatively cheap. Um, and uh, Moorhead does have an application fee, but if you are interested in Moorhead, let me know and I will get you the code so that you can get a fee waiver. Okay, but don't apply to Moorhead if you're not planning on going there. Okay, so when I first got on here, the first thing that pops up is this, and it says apply now. Okay, so that takes you right to it. They want you to be able to apply. Okay, um, let's look. Let me see if admissions takes us to that. So I've got admissions here, um, apply now, things like that. So I don't see anything about their program. So let me look at academics, find a major. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. And a lot of your websites are going to be similar. They're just going to use different terminology. So if you're not sure what major you want or what program you want to go into, look for their academic section. It'll take you to their list of things they offer. So um, find the major here, all right? And we are you are going to be an undergraduate, okay? If you scroll on here, it's going to go ahead and start listing different things that you can do here, right? Astronomy, astrophysics, agriculture, all right? It does take a second for it to load, but that's a um biology business studies and so you can even get a two degree from moorhead and some of these things okay um career and technical education right there's a ton of different things that you can do here child development if you know that you want to work with kids um you can do education you can do child development um anything like that would work okay education obviously is your you know different things but there's a ton of different things here that you can do just make sure that whenever you're looking at these um you're looking at what you would be going into so early childhood education maybe you want to be a preschool teacher um or early elementary um uh, maybe you want to do elementary p through five uh this is not for you okay that's just an extra certification but maybe you want to do early childhood okay um if you go down here a little bit more you sh we should have something with education Maybe it's just educational technology. Maybe I passed it up. That's also a possibility. I probably passed it up. Anyway, they do have these programs that you can take um, and do things with. So if you want to apply to Moorhead, let me know. Um, if you're planning on going there or you're thinking about going there, let me know. And um, I can get you that fee waiver. And then I also think that EKU does not charge um, a fee. Let me look really fast. Um... EKU does not have a fee to apply, um, but their program, their setup is pretty similar to Moorhead's because they're both in the same, um, they're kind of, they're not sister schools or anything like that, but um, they're both state universities or both, you know, more or both um, public universities. And so their setups and their, in their websites and things like that are similar. Um, so if you have any questions, um, you need any help, anything like that, feel free to email me. OK, I'll put my email address. Um, I'll write it out on the um, the what am I thinking of assignment. Um, and all you're going to do is you're going to tell me what you have done to prepare for next year, basically on that Google form that I'm going to post for you. Um, I want you to give me something. If you don't have any idea, then at the bare minimum, apply to ACTC. OK, because at least it's something. Um, but if you know that you have a plan next year, um, you know, go ahead and do that. But if you don't have a plan right now in the, at the end of January of your senior year, you got to start thinking about it. OK, talk to some adults that you care about, that, that you're close with. Um, talk to some of the teachers. Maybe you're in 
um, ROTC or um, welding. Ask them what you need to do if you want to be in that profession. Okay, and they will help you with that. Um, but you have to do the research. You have to go reach out to them. So you are getting glass time to go do these things. All right. So go do them. If you need help, let me know um, or let whoever that you trust know. And I'm sure that they can help you. Um, if your parents have any questions about any of this stuff, let me know and I will connect them with the right people. Um, think of, you know, about financial aid and things like that. And then hopefully next week at the beginning of the week, we'll have some um, somebody in here to sort of teach you guys or talk to you guys a little bit about financial aid and how to do all that stuff. OK, so go apply for something. All right. And I will see you guys back here um, next week.